Please join me in giving a warm welcome to a true innovator, the president and CEO of Carnival Corporation, Arnold Donald. So great to have you here. It's great to be here, and congratulations on CES's 50th anniversary. Well, thank you for joining us. You know, this is just an incredibly awesome event, and, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, look at this. We've got quite a turnout. What? What? I, I thought we were still in the desert. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're bringing our guest innovations uh, to you, so I figure we might as well bring the ocean as well. Nicely done. Well, after all, the desert is not exactly a cruise line's home port. So we'll be bringing a little slice of our ships, our resorts, and our islands from around the world to you here on this stage. But most importantly, we hope you'll see today that our why, our commitment to cutting edge technology runs so deep. Very deep. But from the look of things, you have everything under control. So I will watch from the audience. Thank right. you so Thank much. You, Thank, Thank you, Gary. Thank you, man. Thank you. So look, it's wonderful to be here today. You know, I'm excited to share our new innovation with all of you. Um, all of you who are changing the world every day in, in so many ways. Not everyone knows this, but Carnival Corporation happens to be the world's largest experience enterprise. And it's our sole purpose, our sole purpose to exceed our guests' expectations, uh, to, to make our guests happy, to transport them into a world of possibility and discovery. With today's unveiling, um, we're going to show you how Carnival Corporation will bring people together through technology. So giving our guests a unique opportunity to share special moments with family and with friends and to connect more deeply, to connect more deeply with the people, the places, the cultures that they encounter on their vacation journeys. At Carnival Corporation, we have a special connection to the sea. Our guest experiences are delivered via the world's oceans, and virtually every destination in the world touches the sea. Our experience ethos was reflected almost three years ago with a Super Bowl ad, and that ad reinforces our connection to the sea. I uh, really uh, don't know why it is that uh, all of us are so committed to the sea, except I am, uh, I think it's because, in addition to the fact that the sea uh, changes and the light changes and uh, ships change, it's because uh, we all came from the sea. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore, uh, we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. Carnival Corporation, connecting people, places, and cultures across the world to create unforgettable experiences. You know, from the very first time people looked out at the sea with wonder, mankind has shared a single dream, and that's to discover what lies beyond the horizon, to seek new shores, to connect with other people, and to learn their stories. So for centuries, travelers have sailed across the vast oceans for commerce, for exploration, for relaxation. And the lives they've touched have brought all of us closer together. And so it continued until 1972, when Ted Arison, considered the father of the modern cruise industry, repurposed the ferry, con converting it into a cruise ship. <clears throat> Prior to that time, ocean vacations were only for the most elite. Carnival Cruise Line made them available to everyone, giving birth to the modern cruise industry. Ted's son, Mickey, is our current chairman, and he expanded the company across the globe. 
to the point where we now have, as Gary mentioned, 10 world-leading cruise lines visiting hundreds of ports and destinations. Thanks to Ted and to Mickey, because of them, almost anyone can go on an ocean vacation and experience the world in all its beauty and in all its diversity. It wasn't long before pop culture embraced cruising. You know, Princess Cruises was catapulted to stardom when Pacific Princess was used as the setting on the television show The Love Boat. The series was an instant hit, and soon millions of viewers were dreaming of sailing the seas on their own vacation. For over a century, all over the world, from China to Brazil to Fiji, the brands that now comprise Carnival Corporation have provided a level of service that consistently, consistently exceeds guest expectations. Today, Carnival Corporation's experienced enterprise encompasses, as I mentioned, 10 different world-leaning brands, a fleet of over 100 ships serving 740 ports around the world. That includes a vast collection of destination resorts and exclusive island experiences, along with a transportation network that includes trains and motor coaches. Guests spend over 80 million, 80 million vacation days a year experiencing the brands of our Carnival Corporation. Now, we've got a flavor of vacation for everyone, offering every style of uh, vacation, vacation of your dreams, from burgers to caviar, or tuxedos to bikinis. You know, from the freedom and fun of our namesake brand, Carnival Cruise Lines, the relaxation and discovery of Princess Cruises, the wonder and, and comfort of Holland America, the elegant sophistication of Cunard, the fine cuisine and posh style of P&O, the grace and ultra luxury of Seaborn, the sporty modern spirit of Aida, the Italian warmth and artistry of Costa, the active thrills and serenity of P&O Australia, and the social impact and personal enrichment of Fathom. For over a century, we have been delivering incredible guest experiences across every ocean, every continent, and every culture. Because ultimately, it's all about people and placing their needs and wishes above all else. Now, I mean, the world is an amazing place, you know, from Alaska to Vietnam, Sydney to Vanuatu, St. Petersburg to Venice. The more we give people the opportunity to connect and experience the world together, the more spectacular our world will be. And by offering our guests the opportunity to enjoy these experiences, we invite everyone to reach out to the world, live life to the fullest, and dare to dream. dreams.
dreams. Where will they take us? What happens when we get there? Will we remain the same? Or will we never be the same again? Individually, we are a drop. Together, we are an ocean. So look, I think we can all agree that nothing beats a great vacation. So at Carnival Corporation, it's our passion, our absolute passion to make sure our guests can enjoy as many experiences as possible in the limited amount of time that they have on vacation. And that's why we spent the last few years locked away in hidden locations across the globe, conceiving, designing, and creating with some of the most talented partners from around the world to come up with the most personal, yet simple and intuitive, vacation experience on this planet. And it's all encompassing and totally unique. And it's an approach we call Ocean. So that's one cruise experience access network. Now the Ocean Global Platform delivers a lifestyle engagement. And this is a real game changer. Our Ocean strategy is all about guest centricity. So basically it means that every decision we make arises from our guests. Our main goal, our raison d'etre, is to make their dream vacations come true. Now we recognize that each guest is different and the things that make them happy are different. That's why our business and operations are a function of our guest experience and not the other way around. So it's our mission to personalize and simplify the vacation experience for everyone. That's easier said than done though, right? So, it, but it's actually much closer than you might think. And we aren't innovating to be different. We're innovating for an even better guest experience. So as acclaimed industrial designer Dita Rams once said, things which are different in order simply to be different are seldom better. But that which is made to be better is almost always different. And it is that desire to be better, to elevate guest emotional connections that led us to create innovation that powers the whole ocean vacation experience. And it is now my honor to present to you the ocean medallion. <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> So this little medallion is simple, it's elegant, and it's personal. And it will power our guest experiences like never before. This amazing device will redefine travel as we know it, taking us to new frontiers. It opens an entire world of new experiences. Now it may seem small, it may seem small, but the power it unleashes is actually huge. You know, for centuries, mariners and seafaring explorers, uh, they used medallions like this, or something like this, and a compass to explore the world. Uh, and now we've created our own compass along with this medallion as a gift for our guests. It's a gift to our guests to help them navigate their entire vacation experience. And that's just the beginning. What makes it even more exciting is our experience ecosystem, which creates highly personal experiences for our guests and it keeps the interactions with our crew members genuine 
and it makes them even more memorable. You wouldn't think something that looks this simple could do all that. Well, actually, it can do even more. Please take a look. So we want to get back to the purpose of why people take cruise experiences, which is really to connect with other people, other cultures, other destinations around the world. Because what we want to do is create a new level of service that is enabled by technology, but not technology-centric. Ultimate strategy is to make a cruise personalized, make it simple, and make it hassle-free. You are going on a journey when you, when you go on a cruise ship, but you're also going on a journey uh, of experience and of adventure. And we wanted to create a product experience that it itself was like a journey. On the digital side, we have the compass, and on the physical side, we have uh, the medallion. In a sense, it's like a modern day currency. It's technically the most advanced currency you can imagine. It empowers you to get into places automatically. You can buy things with this, and it enables personalized experiences. Each medallion is personally assigned to each guest, so their profile is connected to the medallion. Just by walking up to your stateroom and opening the door and walking inside, you don't need to bring out your phone. You don't need to tap in a code. When we started designing the compass, we wanted to make sure we designed it in a way that anyone could understand. And what everyone in the world understands is time. So the navigation on the compass is just simply left to right as it relates to a timeline. Being able to look forward and engage in experiences, it allows you to get excited. It allows you to maximize your experience because you know everything that's available for you. And then navigating up or down just allows you to navigate up into possibilities or down into detail. And it's that persistent connection that allows this personalization to the next level. And we think that's what's super special. Now the excitement begins at home. Guests are immersed in the world of ocean as they begin to explore Ocean Compass, their interactive digital companion. Not only can guests reserve signature onboard experiences like dining, spa treatments, and shore excursions, they can also prepare for their upcoming voyage in a simple and seamless way thanks to Ocean Ready. A completely transformed experience is all made possible when guests receive the ultimate key to it all before they even leave home. Introducing the Ocean Medallion, innovative, one-of-a-kind technology that links our guests to a more personal experience. Everyone sailing receives a medallion as part of the experience. And guests can even choose to personalize how they would like to express it with optional medallion accessories that range from active to luxury. Guests can engage deeper into the experience by designing a tag along, a digital companion who starts at home and comes to life throughout the voyage. Ocean Ready revolutionizes embarkation day with a streamlined arrival process. Waiting in line and checking in is replaced by a welcome greeting that takes only moments and guests can go directly on the ship. Once aboard, the medallion is all you need. Entering the stateroom, shopping, ordering drinks, linking to onboard photographers, locating travel party members, and so much more is now absolutely seamless. The medallion also triggers unexpected interactions, enabling the crew to surprise guests with unforgettable moments. Now from the moment guests step on board, their vacation can be fun, relaxing, and full of new experiences. No IDs, credit cards, or cruise cards are needed. Guests can simply use their medallion and compass. And compass comes to life on board the ship with Ocean Concierge, a persistent, friendly companion who ensures every guest can maximize their vacation experience. Whether fine dining, shows, shipboard activities, or shore excursions, Ocean Concierge ensures all experiences are accessible by all guests and all recommendations are tailored to their preferences at all times. Staying connected is easy. Guests can communicate with their family, friends, or anyone on board, add personal preferences along the way, view onboard activities, and connect with social networks to share their personal vacation with the world. Vacations are made simple again when whims and desires are easily fulfilled using here and now. Guests can stay relaxed anywhere on the ship, and still request their favorite food from the Lido deck or a cocktail from any bar direct from their compass. Before they know it, a friendly crew member finds them with the order in hand. Looking to arrange for a favorite glass of wine later this evening or tomorrow during the show? There and then, 
enables the crew to deliver future requests wherever the guests may wish to be. Upon arrival at the theater, the perfect glass of wine arrives as requested, while guests enjoy guaranteed seating. Those interested in trying their luck in new and interactive ways will find gaming beyond the casino. PlayOcean invites guests to engage in digital and physical games all over the ship. Games will seamlessly merge into the fabric of the guest experience, starting at home and evolving through the vacation. PlayOcean brings a vast array of immersive games, engaging events, and deep interactive experiences. Throughout the cruise, memories are captured at the best moments and are available however the guests want them. They can instantly view and share all of their media right from the compass. Digital photos and artifacts can be collected and made into one-of-a-kind keepsakes that are sent right to your home. Personal vacation memories can be shared during and even after the trip. The medallion will enhance our guest vacations before, during, and after the cruise, making every moment more simple, more personal, transforming transactions into seamless interactions and creating one-of-a-kind vacation experiences that can't be found anywhere else. The medallion changes everything because it's at the center, it is the guest, and it's the way they are interacting with their overall experience. At the core, we're taking the service delivery burden off the crew so they can do what they do, which is interact with guests and make them happy. So as you can see, um, this little medallion is but one central component of a much, much larger ecosystem that empowers both simplicity and personalization. Now here, to tell us a little bit more about you know, how this personalization works, is a great innovator and um, the, the driving force behind our entire ocean platform, our Chief Experience Innovation Officer, John Padgett. John? You, you know I love that music because I like to make it real. You know, I, I like to make it real, and, and you're smooth, so it's all good, you know. But look, <clears throat> um, I just want to say that now that I've introduced um, all these wonderful people uh, to the medallion, why don't you take it from here, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Arnold. Yeah. Thanks. What makes Medallion Class Experience so special is the level of personalization. Our focus on personalization is all about the guests. Personalization is frequently talked about in marketing these days, but true experience personalization is seldom done. Targeted ads, web banners, email campaigns are not experience personalization. To us, experience personalization means so much more. It means exceeding guest ex expectations in ways that cannot be anticipated. With the medallion, experience personalization happens all in real time. We start at the home with the guest preferences, social media, photos to set context, but this is where most others stop. With the medallion, when it arrives at home, the experience begins. Every guest becomes ocean ready and personalization emerges across the entire vacation, from home to airport to transportation to port and all the way through the ships and destinations. Based on physical and digital and human interactions, we create what we call the guest genome that evolves multiple times per second. Let's say you have an interest in nature, so you go whale watching. You're a gamer, so you play a few hands of blackjack, and you enjoy Italian food and wine. The guest genome evolves in real time, enabled by literally hundreds of algorithms running on the edge, creating what we call experience intelligence which is what empowers us to maximize each and every guest interaction. Experience intelligence is our rocket fuel that powers something that we call ocean concierge. Every guest has an ocean concierge working continually to make sure their vacation is great. And ocean concierge match maximizes each and every guest experience all in real time with something we call experience invitations. We've gone well beyond conventional segmentation. In fact, every guest is a segment of one, and every guest represents many markets. Joe Pine wrote about this as early as 1999 in his book, The Experience Economy. I've told you what experience intelligence is, but let me share what it is not. It's not big data analytics. 
Big data only helps the next guy. And that's not guest centricity. At Carnival, we want every guest's current vacation to be awesome. In the future, you won't even need to book another vacation because you can simply add an itinerary because you're already ocean ready. To us, it's all about maximizing the guest experience. With the medallion, the more you engage in your vacation journey, the better it is. From the moment you first engage, and even more over time, you have richer and richer experiences crafted and created just for you. It's about connecting, it's about people, and ultimately, it's all about creating happy guests. That's right, John, I'm right behind you. <laughs> so taking, taking guest service previously, only experienced by the most elite vacationers at scale through personalization is a really big deal. Now, I bet a lot of you guys are wondering, like, what's under the hood that makes our personalization so precise? Well, every Captain Picard for you Trekkies out there has to have, to have a number one. And I would like to introduce you now, John's number one. Let's see what it takes to bring a medallion class um, ship to life. Oh, we're gonna roll the video first, sorry. It's not simply the medallion, and it's not simply the compass. There's an entire technology platform that goes behind them. There's an array of sensor types and embedded equipment that enables the medallion to create experience magic. The technology itself that lives within the medallion, the sensors, the readers, and the door locks is uh, quite complex in a very small package. You have to pick the technology very carefully. So building the system not as a monolithic, brittle solution, but one of a constituent set of components that can be upgraded and enhanced over time. If you think about your mobile phone, you have the hardware, and then you have the operating system, and you have the apps that sit on top of the operating system. So using that as a metaphor for what we're doing, the ship is one large mobile device. And with that, we wrap with an operating system, which is our experience platform, and then we stage all of our experiences on that platform. Right now, we have dozens of vendor partner teams of various sizes engaged. Our engineering team is in Seattle. Our design team is in San Francisco. Our algorithmic science teams are spread across the world. We're conducting manufacturing operations with many of the leading manufacturers in Asia, coordinated through a world-class manufacturing operations team. So at any given day, at any given hour, we're making headway in some part of the world. Welcome to the Royal Princess Dry Dock here in wonderful Palermo, Italy. We only have 10 days to carry out a monstrous task. So the, a lot of the design work has gone into producing systems and products that we can install in such a short time frame. Some great teams are running roughly 75 miles of cable installing almost 7,000 sensors, 650 XIECDs, our experienced edge computing device, and 4,030 additional guest portals scattered throughout the ship. That's a lot of work happening, and we're getting it done. We have many visionary things that are gonna be a part of the ocean experience, from innovative door locks to a magical system that will enable us to deliver delight and surprise to our guests in every moment of their vacation experience aboard our ships. There really is no one that's doing quite what we're doing here. I think that we have a tremendous amount of technology that's being brought to this ship. It's just gonna be very seamless. It's gonna almost be invisible to the guests. They're not gonna ever realize how much is in here. What this new technology means to me is just that ability when it all comes together to really connect with that guest at a totally different level. It's not just revolutionary for the cruise industry, it's gonna be revolutionary for the hospitality industry, and I think that's what's gonna be very exciting. I think the most exciting thing is the enablement of the crew that's gonna take place, and taking away endless amount of paperwork and spreadsheets, and the crew are gonna be so relieved that it's gonna just take service to the next level, and that's what's gonna give excellent, wonderful vacation experience to our guests. Our teams are gonna have to do a lot of planning, a lot of orchestration, a lot of preparation, a lot of manufacturing. It's only by really pushing ourselves and leaning into it that we're gonna get that accelerated performance and really be able to hit a mark that's gonna be exceptional. So 
you just saw him on the video, but here to reveal some of the details behind the medallion and the ecosystem, please welcome John's number one, Senior Vice President of Guest Experience Design and Technology, Michael Jungen. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Well, I'm delighted to be here to share with you about the Ocean Medallion. So first impressions, when you hold the medallion, you initially notice that it's clean and sleek in design. But it's so much more than that. It is the substance behind the form. As you can see, the medallion is the persistent identifier for each guest. Just like a license plate on your car, and it is the component that connects every guest with our experience ecosystem. Because connection is key. When a guest medallion connects with our experience ecosystem, all their dreams, all their needs can be anticipated. It's intuitive, but not disruptive. Personal, but not invasive. And it's made up of two primary communication devices. First, you have standard VLE, which operates at distances. Then, standard NFC, which operates at closer range. What's unique, though, is that we've turned the industry equation upside down. Normally, BLE beacons are stationary, and the readers are mobile. In our case, this little baby is our beacon. It is mobile, and our readers are mostly stationary. Similarly, we did a turn on the compass which is our digital portal to your experience. As you saw earlier in the video, it's the digital concierge with a unique user interaction. When we constructed the guest interaction, we created several different dimensions that allowed different guests in the same location to have a unique experience and a unique perspective on their compass, even though they're standing right next to each other. You know, that's really special because the experience is differentiated for each guest. Yeah. And it's all about the guest. You don't need an iPhone, an iPad, or a computer to access the Compass. It's available on any portal throughout your experience and on the ship. And you can connect with it in your stateroom on your TV, with other digital portals, and even with our crew members through their own crew Compass. When you cruise on a medallion-class ship, your vacation experience begins the moment that you start at home, and it's amplified because of our experience ecosystem. In the center is our interaction layer, where the guest compass and the medallion and the crew compass interact with each other simply and seamlessly. So the crew can provide personalized services no matter where you are. The experience layer is constructed of all the services that enable us to provide guest experiences throughout the ship, in our destinations, and throughout our media content. And this flexible platform allows us to continually change, add, and innovate new experiences. Once it's in place, it's absolutely limitless. In the next layer, we have signature services such as Ocean Ready and Ocean Concierge which are specifically designed to deliver an exceptional guest vacation. And you know about the devices and the hardware, as you saw in the video. The final layer is comprised of the experience operating system. There are also innovative components within the ecosystem infrastructure, like stateroom entry. Get this, all you have to do is walk up to your stateroom door with your medallion and just reach out. You know, stateroom access has, has been elevated to the same level of luxury as keyless door entry, on the world's finest cars. That's exactly right. And let me share with you a little about how, about how that amazing thing works. As you approach, your medallion is read by the portal next to the entry of your stateroom. Then that portal sends a message back to our servers. The servers validate that it's you at the door. A confirmation zips back across the ship to your stateroom door, which also triggers your compass. The entry portal right next to your door lets you know where your family is, what activities are coming up, and most importantly, it welcomes you to your stateroom. The LED on the door lights up to give you the right impression that it's ready to reach out, open your door, and bing, you're in. And all of that happens in a blink of an eye. And as you can see, 
all of this is really happening and our experience ecosystem is not at all hypothetical. Yeah, guys, this really is happening. It's, it's just fantastic. So I want to thank you both for all your hard work and the teams around the world. And I want to thank you, John, and you, Michael, for your creativity. Awesome. Much Thanks, appreciated. Arnold. Appreciate Glad it. You bet. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks, man. Yeah. You know, the team is bringing the Medallion Class experience to life with, with some really great partners. Um, one of our partners is Joe Pine. Joe is author of The Experience Economy. Uh, he's been talking about the experience economy for almost 25 years. Let's take a look. If you want to create a great guest experience, you have to create a great crew experience. You've got to give them the wherewithal uh, to be able to stage that experience. And that includes uh, the tools and the technology. By enhancing the guest experience, we actually can improve operational efficiency. The fact that we know who you are, we know what you want, means that backstage we can improve the efficiency of how we do things so that everything becomes more personalized. And that improves the efficiency and actually lowers the cost of the experience that you're providing, and that is fantastic. You know, the Carnival is going to be able to create a true differentiation by embracing the individual guests, becoming truly guest-centric, so that they can then take the learnings from ship to ship to ship, from brand to brand to brand, and that's going to create this tremendous uh, uh, platform, and that's a singularly powerful competitive advantage. Please welcome everyone to the stage, Joe Pine. Thanks, Earl. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to be here. You know, thanks for all the help. You know, you've been embedded with our team, um, um, our experience innovation team, working on the strategy, seeing it all as it's come together. So just what's your perspective? Well, Arnold, there are three things I see that you're really doing right. First of all, your strategy starts with the guest. Now, being guest-centric is much easier said than done. In the past few years, almost everything is being labeled an experience when most are mere products and services. True experiences create an emotional impact that can be personally transformative. And there's no doubt that by taking personalized experiences to another level, you're going to be making emotional and transformative impacts. And second, medallion class is an inclusive approach. Everyone can have an elevated experience. It's not about segmenting your guests and having a small portion of them who pay more for that elevated experience. Your strategy elevates everyone's experience. And personalization at scale, that's a game changer. Third, is, it's about leverage. By staging guest experiences via a platform, your scale can be maximized by efficiently extending the platform across the brand and then across the entire fleet. The platform approach facilitates an increased focus on brand differentiation. So you're shifting your focus from the next ship to one that elevates guest experience regardless of ship size or ship age. Okay. You know, thanks, Joe. It sounds really good, but are there any potential pitfalls? Don't do a one-off. Right. Right? That's the key. A platform is a strategic approach that requires commitment. It's always easier to do one-offs and shortcuts to stage a specific experience, but ultimately, easier is not cheaper, extendable, or leverageable. Thanks again, Joe. Look, I'd like to bring out a few more development partners. Um, from NITEC, we have Rich Lertz, from Level 11, Mark Hadlin, and from the Experience Engine, Scott Sahadi. Guys? Yeah. How you doing? Arnold, good to see you. Arnold. Mark. All right, Scott, good to see you. So guys, look, thanks for helping us um, make all this come true. Uh, we're obviously very excited about it. Scott, you know, you've worked on some pretty disruptive projects, so what's unique here? You know, we have worked on some disruptive projects, Arnold, uh, but none is transformational and honestly as exciting and awesome as this. Look, we're all here at CES, and there isn't a day that goes by that another digital innovation isn't hyped about in the tech space. The reality is, is most of those ex are innovations are experiments. They're not enterprise class. So think about it. Carnival is building a platform that will be built on enterprise class technology to scale to 100 ships floating on the open ocean to over 740 destinations worldwide in real time. That's not typical. That takes some serious kung fu. <laughs> and Joe, we've talked a lot about personalization. Well, personalization is built on consumer information. 
things like guest behavior or the time of day or maybe a preference, that data needs to be secure. So Carnival is enabling technologies like tokenization and encryption, authentication, and the anonymization of all of that data is so, so critical. And Arnold, in a day of this world where we have a focus on corporate security, those elements have to be engineered into the very DNA of the platform at the outset and not done as an afterthought. And I see you take personalization to heart because I love your flops, man. That's it's pretty all about the man. user experience, man. You know, you're working it. You're working it. It's all good. All right, so Rich, you know, you're the hardware guy. Uh, this hardware is stunning. It's stunning in its aesthetics and its capabilities. Um, what's your thoughts? Arnold, I would have never imagined as CEO of NYTEC grabbing a red eye to Miami along with a lock Pelican case in one hand, a bag of tools in the other to install a prototype door lock in a stateroom door in the middle of a huge dark warehouse. <laughs> I had no idea what, what I was getting into, but I wanted to be part of it. Um, you know, Arnold, your, uh, your creative industrial design and hardware engineering is second to none. But your cruise ships are pretty unique, and that offered up a few challenges. Remember, cruise ships never sleep. There are no evenings, weekends, or even holidays where there are no guests. So we had to be pretty creative in how we performed installation and testing. Every three years, you have only 10 days in dry dock to get your work done. So it was absolutely critical that the hardware be able to withstand the harshest marine environments, yet be quick and easy to install especially in some pretty tight spaces. But most of all, it has to work the first time. Failure is not an option. Rich, I completely agree with that. But also, the business model is very unique. It includes everyone, not just a segmented group. To accomplish this level of experience uh, personalization, the location services must be extremely robust, precise, and dependable. And Arnold, as we all know, there's a big difference between us doing something that's special and doing something special at scale. Right. This is not just another digital innovation experiment. The experience platform serves as the backbone, not only for immersive experiences, but also for all operational processes, and it's been engineered for complete and total reliability. Exactly, Mark. You know, personalizing and customizing at scale based on real-time intelligence, these are the key ingredients for what I call a genius enterprise. <laughs> the concept of a genius enterprise is something very new. Obviously, it contrasts directly with dumb products, which, if you think about it, increasingly make consumers feel stupid. I mean, how many times have you placed your hands in front of a faucet only to realize there's no sensor, and you actually have to touch the handle to turn it on? Not exactly the optimal outcome. So smart products are the baseline. Smart products respond to customer requests as expected. But genius experiences anticipate what the customer will want or need in advance and instantaneously customize the service delivery for that individual. And Arnold, this is exactly what you and your team are doing with the medallion class approach. It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Joe. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate Thanks, your support. All right. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> So, you know, when running a global business, uh, having great partners around the world, obviously, is, is key to success in all dimensions um, at Carnival Corporation. And I think you'll agree we've got a lot going on. But that's not all. As you have all know, my, any successful experienced enterprise has got to have a strong media presence. So, in a first for the cruise industry, we have created and produced our own ocean original TV series. As current guests and future guests follow the adventures of our hosts traveling the world on our ships, it's our hope that they'll be inspired, truly inspired to take a cruise or an ocean vacation. Take a look. We started thinking about new ways to communicate today's cruise experience and show the world the very best vacation experiences happen on the ocean. Enter our strategy of bringing cruise-inspired original content back to the forefront. So we began to dream, create, and produce compelling original series. Our first three series, Ocean Treks, The Voyager, and Vacation Creation, have been on the air since October 1st. And we're so proud of the way that we've been able to tell these stories in new and authentic ways. We are connecting the world with everything that makes an ocean vacation amazing. And this is just the beginning.
very proud to say that the hosts from our OSHA Media series are in the audience um, today. Thank you, hosts. You do a fantastic job on the series. And now, please join me in welcoming the talented co-hosts of the Ocean Original Series, Vacation Creation, Tommy Davidson and Andrea Fesco. <laughs> <laughs> How's How it going? Hold on, is this Vegas? <laughs> Let's make some noise. Come on! <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think that we need to start this thing off vacation creation style with a group hug. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Group hug. Group hug. Here we go. All right. cool. <laughs> Each week on Vacation Creation, we create the perfect customized cruise vacation for some very lucky guests. And it is always so heartwarming to see the transformations as these guys live out their dream vacations. That's right. We make it easy for them to just enjoy the heck out of everything. And believe and me, they, believe do. they do. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. So as we travel the world on your ships, visiting the best destinations, it's a really tough job. Uh, we are just always blown away by the life-changing experiences your company gives each guest. Yep. And now with the medallion and the compass, Ocean will deliver vacation creation experiences for everyone. And that means all of y'all. That's right. That's right. Everybody, right? So thanks to Ocean, you can completely immerse yourself in unique environments, authentic cultures, and epic stories through our technology. In fact, the medallion and compass enable every guest to experience the same kind of adventures you'll see on all of our Ocean Media series. Exactly. Uh, like, for example, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you have some great bars on your ships. <laughs> we have a and a lot of them. Too. Yeah. And I'm now sure, you're talking. Yeah, most adults enjoy a good cocktail, right? This is Vegas, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> so how would you guys like to sail the globe, drinking in the stories behind signature cocktails that push the boundaries of flavor? Mm -hmm. Well, now you can through the new Ocean Original Series, Good Spirits. And guests on all medallion-class ships will be able to enjoy signature cocktails inspired by places and cultures from around the world, just like the ones to show on, on the show, um, Good Spirits. And we'll actually take Good Spirits from the show and create on the ship the Good Spirits Lounge. Check it out. <clears throat> I'm Matthew Biancanello. As a cocktail chef, I put passion into each beverage I make. This is Medina. That's exactly this what I want. This is the taste of Medina. Everything I serve needs to be a work of art. Every time I, I have a sip, I taste something different. Yes. I'm in constant pursuit of new possibilities. My mind is just exploding inside because I've tasted new things I've never had before. And a deeper understanding of my craft. I definitely think that I could find a way to make this into a cocktail. So I've taken to the seas, aboard the world's most spectacular ships, exploring amazing destinations. I'm in search of incredible people. Tamamete. Tamamete. Tamate. Unique spirits. This is what makes St. Lucian rum so unique and so hard to find and risk. Yes. yes. Is it strong? I'll let you judge that. <laughs> and farm fresh ingredients. These are uh, La Raja oranges. Mm -hmm. They only grow here in the island. To inspire drinks that are nothing short of magic. You feel all the flavors, but at the very end, it's when the party just starts. <laughs> this is Good Spirits. Good Spirits is an immersive bar experience that we're developing for medallion class ships. It's shaping up to be something really special. A perfect blend of immersion, experience, and personalization that can only be delivered with the medallion. This rum, that wine, that salt, these juices and blends, and that island. We're rooting our experience in an organic culture with authenticity. It's not about whipping up outrageous concoctions. There's an authentic connection. Good Spirits is comfortable and inviting, almost like stepping into the kitchen of a well-traveled friend. And its stories and product will revolve around the stories of the destinations that we visit. The medallion makes those experiences personal, whether it's media and effects integrated into the room that are evocative of the drink you just ordered, or a specialty cocktail unique to you that reflects all of your tastes built with your genome in mind. You're a part of it. Good Spirits is gonna be a great bridge that allows guests to explore and connect with the culture of our destinations in a really personal way.
So Good Spirits is a great example of how we develop a ship experience from one of our Ocean Media series. And speaking of an experience from one of your Ocean Media series, we cannot end this without our ending from Vacation Creation. That's right. right. So hold up. It's selfie time, all right? <laughs> Well, man, we better get out in the middle of to that. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Y'all in it. Are you guys ready? Yeah, bring the lights Look up. Look how pretty something. everyone has their lipstick on. Okay. You guys are in this. Seriously. You guys are in this, you know. <laughs> All right. So on the count of three, we're going to say ocean, okay? All right. Let's get in there. Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. Ocean. ocean. Very nice, guys. It looks so good. Hey, where, where are they, though? Where there. Are they? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Right. Have a good one. All right, man. So, look, be sure to watch and Andrea and, and Tommy on Saturday mornings on Vacation Creation. It's truly an awesome show. It, it speaks to the spirit of cruising and to the human spirit, which is what cruising is all about. So I'm very proud to announce that Good Spirits will be launched on television through a strategic partnership with A&E Networks. And we're looking forward to sharing additional details about the premiere of this exciting new franchise later this month. Now, we have another exciting announcement to make. And here to tell you more about it is one of our leaders in our corporation, Group President of Princess Cruises and Carnival Australia, Jan Swartz. I was gonna, I was gonna hand you a medallion, but I see you you're you're wearing, so you're ocean good to ready, go. Arnold. You're ocean ready. All right, good deal. As the world's largest premium cruise line, Princess Cruises is one of the best known names in vacations. <clears throat> Princess carries more than two million guests each year to magnificent destinations all around the world, from Alaska, Europe, Asia, and the Caribbean. You know, from the moment I first visited the Experience Innovation Center, I was inspired by the possibilities of the medallion and the compass and their potential to empower our crew to surprise and delight our guests. At Princess, we're renowned for our world-class guest service. And over the course of a cruise, which can range from three to 100 days, our crew strives to get to know our guests so we can exceed their vacation expectations. But now, with the added power of the medallion, we can understand our guests' wants, needs, and desires even better, creating personalized experiences that are meaningful and memorable, and do it all in real time. Now, how will we do this? With this innovation, from the moment you first engage with us, your experience will be powered by your preferences. You'll be invited to your favorite fitness class while your best friend attends our cooking demonstration. Services you desire will be delivered seamlessly, often without asking where and when you want them. We offer hundreds of activities a day on our cruise ships, ranging from wine tasting to blackjack, scuba diving to Zumba. You'll essentially have a personal concierge always available to make the most of every minute of your precious vacation time and make sure you're aware of all of your experience options so I can get my soy cappuccino exactly when I want it every day. I can glance at my phone and know where my kids are on the ship at any given moment. I can also engage the ship casino games from my cabin while I'm waiting for my husband to get ready for dinner. <laughs> that kind of experience personalization is priceless. At the end of the day, the Ocean Medallion takes vacations to an entirely new level. And Princess Cruises will be leading the way, not just for Carnival Corporation, but for the entire vacation industry, expanding the vacation market through guest centricity. For the past year, our Princess team has been working side by side with the innovation team to bring all of this to life. So with that, it gives me great pleasure to reveal that on November 12th, 2017, Carnival Corporation will launch Ocean Medallion Class on Princess Cruises. And Regal Princess will premiere as the first medallion class ship offering this new enhanced vacation experience. You're all invited to reserve your cabins on the maiden voyage. <laughs> 
In the spring of 2018, Royal Princess and then Caribbean Princess will be launched as medallion class ships. And eventually, we expect medallion to be implemented across the entire fleet. And of course, all of the ships in our fleet around the globe will continue delivering great experiences and exceeding our guests' expectations. It's all very exciting. It certainly is, Jan, and thank you for your leadership. I really appreciate thank it. You. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Everyone, Jan Schwartz. So at Carnival Corporation, we have always been about bringing people together. And now our guests will have a chance to connect with people, with places, and cultures in richer, even, even more meaningful ways. It's our hope that every guest will embark on a personal journey that reflects their unique human spirit. And each remarkable experience they encounter along the way will forever change their perception of our world and of themselves. This is what happens when the power of ocean meets the medallion. This is the transformative promise of Medallion, a whole world of vacation experience to explore and to share. This is Carnival Corporation, and this is the next wave of innovation. Thank you.